friends. Hey friends. Hey friends, it's me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. Some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I wanted to do my August wrap up. So a lot of things were happening for me in August. And so I only read three books, but honestly that was three more books than I was expecting to read. So I'm not that disappointed. But I'm hoping that obviously September will be much better. Obviously just the fall season will be much better. I'm not even going to go into my summer TBR because I'm going to be honest with you, I failed that completely. But that's okay. We're just going to move on and pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> and just move on to my fall TBR eventually. But the first book I read was A Heart and a Body in the World by Deb Cluddy. Whew, okay. So this, I went in, I didn't even really know what it was about, hadn't really heard anyone talk about the synopsis, didn't really know what to expect. I went in and I loved this so much. It was a five out of five stars for me. It was so good, it's so relatable, and just so important. Especially when in talks about just consent and just the conversation surrounding the importance of holding like men accountable for their actions and how women are automatically made to feel certain ways in society when they don't accept someone's advances or they don't immediately reciprocate the same feelings to someone or how they're always expected to be nice to someone even when that person is crossing boundaries you're still expected to be nice and say nice things to them to make them not upset but you're also still expected to hold these boundaries you can keep this like innocence people place onto you it's it's just wild like this book just really made me think a lot I definitely want to say trigger warnings and I know for a fact I'm not going to remember all of them because it's been a minute but I believe it's trigger warnings for uh, PTSD, trauma, anxiety, depression. There's uh, trigger warnings for shooting I believe. Please go on Goodreads and look up more. I'm sure other people have listed all of them. But I really did enjoy this. I think this is one of my new favorites. And the fact that she found, not found herself, but she just kind of worked through it all. Kind of on her own, but also with people who were supporting her, but they weren't like crowding her at the same time, if that makes sense. Like, I honestly recommend you going into this without really reading the synopsis, if you think you can handle it. But I do want to give the synopsis for those people who need trigger warnings. So this is about a girl who she has a really traumatic experience where she blames herself for the things that happened to the two most important people in her life at that time. And the book opens up with her just like having a PTSD moment and she just runs. And then she just decides that she's going to just run across country. And it's really spur of the moment. I honestly, when I first started, I was like, what is happening? But it's, as you get more into it, you see what's going on in her head and why she's deciding to do this and everything. So literally the whole book is just her running cross country, working through her trauma and her anxiety and just everything that happened. Honestly, like it's her processing everything. And then along the way, like you see her working through her guilt but also realizing that she like deserves happiness too and then working through the fact that like, everything that happened like was not her fault essentially so i i just highly recommend this i think it's such a good story and yeah the next book i read was the black kids by christina hammonds reed i gave this okay so i originally gave this four stars 
but I'm gonna say it's between a 3.5 and 4 stars for me. Mostly because overall I did like the story. It's very important. I thought the conversations that were happening were important. I thought it was just really good. Like certain things that were happening, I was like, this is really realistic. But <laughs> the main character is so bad. Okay, I made a vlog just for reading this book and I'll link that up above. But the main character, and I think the author made her purposefully unlikable, which she did a really good job with. In some aspects, I did relate to her, but in others, I was just like, friend, what are you doing? It's about this girl, Ashley, who is living in LA during the Rodney King trials. So this takes place in three parts. It takes place before the trials, but after the video of Rodney King being beaten up has been released, uh, during the trials, and then after the trials. So throughout the these three parts, you're seeing how they play an effect on Ashley's life and how it's the story slowly starts having a bigger effect than she thinks it will. And she's black, but she's grown up very privileged in the fact that uh, she does go to a predominantly white school. She lives in a very wealthy neighborhood. She doesn't really want for anything, if that makes sense. So you learn about her friendships. She has like four, three other girls that she's been friends with since kids. They're all white. They obviously don't understand the idea of being black. But I think the thing for me was that the things that her friends would say to her were... Uh, very insulting, very racist, and she never really stands up for herself. And I feel like that's like the struggle I had with it was just even towards the end, there's never really a moment where she's like, hey, that's not okay to say. And I think that's like the only part I really struggled with was because no matter what you do, even if you are having a moment with a friend where you're fighting, I don't think it's fair for them to be able to call you like certain names and then you not stand up for yourself or not be like, hey, wait a minute, that's crossing a line that didn't need to be crossed. That's just my opinion and it felt like that happened a lot in this. And so that was like the only reason why I could not give this five stars is because just Ashley was unlikable, but it was to a point where I was like, bro, even I would say something and I'm very like conflict aversion type of person. Even I would have been like, wait a minute, <laughs> let's back up a second because that was not a thing you should have said. So yeah, but overall, I think it's a good story. I still recommend people to read it because I think it's still something people can enjoy and learn from. And then the last book that I read was This Savage Song by Victoria Schraub. So I gave this a three out of five stars. I liked the story. I like Victoria Schraub's writing. Like I like the way she created the world. I like the concept that she had, like the idea of like monsters being made from human sin basically. And I thought the concept was cool. I'm gonna be honest and say that I didn't really enjoy Kate that much. I enjoyed August, but not really Kate. I kind of thought she was annoying. Also, like, after I really thought about it, after I finished this book, I found it kind of boring, too. Like, it was, it was good, but not even slow-paced. It was just boring. So, that was my only thing. So, I may read the second one. I'm not really in a hurry to do it, but eventually I probably will. But, I will say I did like it, at least. So, there's that. So, that is my August wrap-up. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this. So, if you liked the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, concerns, or questions, please leave all that down below. And if you are not good at commenting, I'm going to go ahead and say leave me an emoji. And if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds.